me, I be on my mission Catch me, candid for these lenses Catch me, one day whipping in these benzes Catch me, catch me, catch me Catch me, like we playing on, on Roll one, and you gon' sing along Ay, Sip some, and you gon' get your dance on Catch me, catch me, catch me, yeah Drowning in ambition now Welcome back to another episode of Couch Creators. I'm your host, Kerem Jesse Hendrix. I'm not alone. I'm with Rita Zulu, Ms. Zulu out here, a promoter, a professional in her artistry, doing incredible things in the entertainment industry. I don't know, the list can go on and on, but I can let her finish that list for me. Rita, for the audience that's watching out here, please expand on that list. Where do I even start? Let's just say the next best thing in the making mm, mm, baby mm. steps i don't want to talk too much you're just going to see we're making moves we're making steps yes greatness moves in under silence the, thank you for finishing that indeed in silence so rita there's a lot of things that you do you are a mystery i'm not gonna lie you That's are right. you're a mystery you are popping up in every festival event club scene doing the most what exactly are you doing there? Let's start with that. I'm building myself. Building yourself? Mm hmm What is that self? What sculpture are you building? Honestly, you know, initially when I got into the scenery, I was like, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with myself. I'm like, I know I'm a creative. I'm good at a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I can dance. I can present. I can do a lot of things. But like, I know I need to like build one thing. So initially I was like, I want to build a brand. But then over time I realized a brand is something that everyone aspires to build. I want to build a presence. So I wanted to be like, when I enter and I walk through any doors of whether a club, an event, a scenery, an environment, there is a presence, there's an energy shift in the atmosphere that when I leave, I take that with me. Mm. So I am now monetizing of my presence. Mm. You want to be a force of, to reckon with it? Danko. Okay. Ooh. Danko. I can feel that presence now. <laughs> Intimidation. <laughs> Shoot. Chucks. So, Rita, okay. We met in, uh, at a, a club. Mm -hmm. you, know? you were doing your things, networking, literally building your presence out there you know what how did you get to that point where you wanted to be in that scene what inspired you to be there um honestly i always knew mm. that okay listen no man i have a calling towards film fashion entertainment mm. towards media towards anything that has to do with the camera but there wasn't i would drama cape town the one and only that exists now there wasn't a drama before like 2023 so we had a lot of clubs in Cape Town and I'm thinking to myself, okay, how am I going to break through in my own city? Before I want to take it to the world and I want to take it to Johannesburg, I need to build myself in my own city. I need to be known in my own city. I need to have a base, a foundation in my own city. So I'm bouncing around club to club to club to club, but I don't really have a home, a foundation where I'm like, okay, this is who I am. This is where you can find me. This is who I'm known for. So I'm like, okay, leave it. Just kind of like do your own thing. Boom. Drama opens up. I'm like, this is it. This aligns with my morals, my values, my ethics. And that's a very important thing to actually do in the club scene. You need to choose a place where you actually align with what that mission statement of that club is because you are a product of the environment. You don't want to end up working at a place where, hypothetically speaking, you end up selling yourself. So I was like, this is it. From there onwards, honestly, it just opened up a lot of doors for me. Um, not only that, just being in town, you get to meet a lot of creatives like fashion designers, photographers, the list is endless, honestly. You get invited to pop-ups, events. You just, you're able to navigate that entire environment and scenery and then you just find yourself through that exchange mm. of energy because it's a currency that mm. makes sense. So what were you doing before drama? I was being a child in high school. Wait, how old are you? <laughs> how old do I look? Because drama opened up like two years ago. Besides how old I look? So you're 20 years old? Yeah. Damn, girl. Yeah. You look like you've been here in the game for long. <laughs> It's a compliment. It's a compliment. Better be. Or maybe it isn't. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, I'm teasing with you. No. Damn, girl, you've been in the club scene baby. at 18 years old. Yeah. So after matric, you decided, ah, listen, I'm going to take a gap year and just focus on my creative. That's a whole completely different story on its own. Okay, tell us. Oh, my goodness, Lord. Um, okay, so I graduated high school in 2020, right? I was part of that group. I know. Okay, so I'm in Machik 2020. Boom. COVID hits. I'm like, shit, what the fuck are we going to do? You know what I'm saying? I'm at home. Sadness happens. I lose my dad. Sitting at home, I'm thinking to myself, no, man. 
by then i had actually applied to do medicine right like all over south africa i'm thinking to myself do i really want to do this degree or like am i just doing it because you know make the parents happy and all that crap you know pays good and all that nonsense i'm sitting there like no man life is too short for me to be chasing things and pursuing things that don't actually fulfill me and give me like a sense of enlightenment i sit there i tell my mom mommy um actually on second thought i don't want to do this she's like what i'm like i don't want to do this if anything leave the entire thing what are you gonna do i'm like i don't know but i'm gonna figure it out okay so i'm looking around i'm looking around i'm looking around i'm like hey man i'm young i'm 17 i just graduated high school let me dream big like i can afford to actually take risks so i'm sitting there i'm like apply to study abroad because why not who's gonna stop you even if you say no another door will open up you know i have nothing to lose because i actually took that risk boom i apply to study abroad boom i get accepted get accepted across different universities in England, I don't know if you know that's an international student. Mm. Okay, mm. so I'm in, I'm like, oh my goodness, we made it, we did not make it, we just opened the door. We are about to go through an entire journey. I'm there, okay, I've gotten accepted, no funding. And I'm like, what the hell am I about to do? And they're like, there's no like fully funded scholarship to actually like move abroad. So you only have a tuition fee scholarship. I'm like, okay, no worries. So basically I'm an international student, but without actually the experience of actually leaving. I'm like, it's okay, it's fine. So while I'm actually navigating how I'm about to like get my visa, leave, travel, all of that, I'm like, you are actually a creative. Like you've always been able to do things. You're very good with the camera, you can dance. Why not actually also build onto that? You could, because you actually had that time. You can be flexible with your time management. Okay, get into managing. Okay, do this. Okay, back to theater, UCT, you know what I'm saying? Dance, do all of that. And then it just, it just, I don't know, like, you know when God just makes things happen for you? Like, you don't actually have a blueprint, but you are trusting, and then it just leads you in a place where you're happy. Mm. And you just know what the next step is. So your creative background is funding your international students' college? In a way, yes, and it's leading me there as well. So the two things work hand in hand. Okay, so what are you studying? Economics, finance, and international business. Damn. Yeah. I'm speechless. Yeah. I don't know what to say after that. <laughs> no, really, like economics, finance, and international and business. And international business. Yeah, babe. So, from wanting to be a medical student, you went into the business field. Lord, what am I going to do with medicine, please? Saving lives. No, get somebody else to do it. Instead of making money, where they double it and get it to the next person. Okay, Miss Economics, tell us what's the money supply. What do you mean to manage supply? I'm, I'm testing your knowledge. Hi, bro. Hi, bro. That's I'm what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm <joking>. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you mean to school? You're going to make me depressed. <laughs> so, so, that's interesting. You got me shocked there. Like, I thought you were just fully focused on um, creativity, you know, instead of like... People are working, bro. So, you're out here behind the scenes, doing your things, working in the shadows, you know, not shedding everything amongst your peers, you know? No, oh, bro. Because there's a lot of pressure, if you tell people your business, people's going to put that onto you and be like, hey, remember you told me this and that, and then... What's that, happening now? Yeah, and then like, ah, shit. Your setbacks, their delays. Yeah, and then all that scrutiny comes your way, and you're like, ah, oh, and they're like, oh, yeah, you see now, if you tell about business, we jinx it for you. Hmm. There's a lot of haters out there. How do you navigate from, like, moving past those haters, you know? Prayer life is the best life. Mm. Everything that you do, you put God first, like... Honestly, if you're not leading by God, I don't know what you're leading by. You need to lead by faith in this world because faith over fear. You're going to encounter setbacks. It's guaranteed. You are going to encounter mishaps, delays. Rejection is going to happen. But the moment where you realize that rejection is in itself redirection and protection onto great and better things, then life just becomes amazing. Mm. Question. Also, you mentioned economics, finance, in, in international uh, management. Business. Business. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, why not just go to an ordinary local institution for that? Why international? The international certificate, the so visa that, that comes with it after, and the networking connections that oh, come with it. And, oh, you're smarter, you want to go, oh, so you can give you more open opportunities overseas. Eh? But when do you ever go to your, so when you graduate one day, you're going to graduate virtually? Uh, yeah. You're not so going to go over there? I'm going to leave. That's the entire point. No, no, you're not going to go to your graduation ceremony. I will. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. But how does it work though? Like, how do you like, do you learn online? You like... Online, yeah. So it's almost like COVID, like how they used to do it back Basically in? that, exactly. Oh, okay. So okay. if you were to be like a long, is it like long distance? I don't yeah. know they call it long distance learning or something like that. Yeah, like that. Oh, okay. Are you enjoying it? Sorry? Are you enjoying it? There's challenges, but I feel that there's challenges in everything. So it's like pick your poison and kind of work with it. Mm. So how is this going to um, be applicable to your creative aspect? 
the creativity honestly with all due respect i feel as if to keep it a stack creatives don't make money so it's you need to kind of you like okay how do i explain this if you're creative alone you're not gonna make money so i feel as if in order for you to monetize of your creativity you need to be business orientated mm. so if you're like okay um i like making i don't know music find a way to maybe once you become big open up a record label and then you get other people to i don't know like just kind of build on what you really have that way you make money from just sitting back perfect example rihanna she doesn't even make music anymore so you must just always like know that for instance i'm not always going to do what i'm doing right now so eventually in the next 10 years i'm just going to sit back i have businesses those things are happening for me now mm. that's where the degree comes in the skill set the experience so it's not necessarily the certificates the journey yes the journey the experience that you can count it or you gain Precisely. from the studying your career okay are you saying okay or are you saying yes you agree i'm agreeing with you okay oh this this kid behind the is distracting me i'm not gonna lie <laughs> What's up with this big smile out here? Rita, what's going on? I'm having fun. You're having fun for real? Yeah. I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like amazed. Like, Rita, you're like someone that's very ambitious, you know? Like, someone that's like, you mean business. Like, with every environment that you put yourself into, there's a purpose. You didn't, you're not there having fun. You're actually working your ass off. You're hustling. You're like trying to connect yourself with the right people so that you can like utilize their resources for your benefit. Am I right? So that's why I'm trying to use people, but yes. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm people, but yes. yes but in a, in a professional manner, yeah. I feel like everyone in the industry is using each other in some form of way. You know? Yeah, but if it's like a beneficial, like mutual yeah. exchange of energy, then it helps everyone. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, I mean, you have to use each other. You can't just like say, I'm to myself. You cannot move without asking someone for assistance, you know, and then you're returning that assistance with whatever you can return, you know. That's very true. So that's what I've been noticing with you. And you helped me with various artists and drama. Don't know why you left drama. Why, why did you leave drama? I didn't leave drama. I got transferred to Coco. Oh, are this in the same organization? Yeah, it's like a family line. Oh, okay. How's that? Then Move I, up. Then, no, then I took a break from the entire club scene. Because I'm trying to focus on events and festivals now. Okay, why is that the case though? What does is, what is festivals and events have that is better than club? I feel that the entertainment industry, you need to... We, we, only, we only look at it like from what it is at the top, but the entertainment industry is like a structure in itself. And mm. at the very bottom of it, could be wrong, don't quote me, don't judge me, don't attack me, is the club scene. So ideally, let's say for instance, you're like, okay, I have a gym, I have a talent in, I can spit bars behind a mic. You need to put, I always tell people this, it's not enough for you to be talented in this day and age, because we live in a day and age of social media. So you need to literally give yourself the best possible opportunity to be in front of the right people. Where are you going to meet the right people in entertainment? The club scene. Every single person you know that is big more or less goes to the club, whether they're doing a pop-up, a performance or whatever. So if you are, you, you, your mind works very quickly, you think to yourself, okay, damn, I'm a talent, like I'm talented, I'm a creative, I can rap, whatever it is I can do, I'm putting myself in front of those people. Don't be scared. Walk up to them. Hey, my name is so-and-so. Ask for a job. Hey, can I be a shisha boy? Can I be a shisha girl? Can I be a waitress? Just do what it is so that you are in front of those people. You are doing way more than someone that's in the studio that is doing. Because mm. now you have the network and you have the connections. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, this one you knows her stuff. She knows her stuff, guys. Eh? How did you learn? For, so for, for 20, year old, 20 years old, no? Yeah, I'm a baby. Damn, girl. And you, you sound like you've been in the industry. Like, you know all these things. You've been living a hard life every week, you know? Yeah, bruh. Monday to Friday, Yo. out in the club hustling. Yo. Monday, it was some holiday. Huh? <laughs> Monday, it was holiday. So what, what? Have you seen some shit? Huh? Yo, let's not even speak about it. Okay, let's not. Let me put you on the spot like that. B off camera, you mentioned like Cape Town is not the place that you want to be and you want to move to Joburg. Mm. Let's share that conversation to the audience that's watching right now. Why is that the case? Um, I mean, honestly, don't get me wrong. I love Cape Town. If I could stay in Cape Town and build myself, then definitely 100%. But like... I mentioned behind the scenes, Johannesburg is, it should be everyone's goal if you are South African trying to make it globally. I'm not saying you can't blow from Cape Town straight globally, but I mean like chances of doing that without the actual proper industry foundation that is only really centered in Gauteng in Johannesburg. 
Why is it that the case? Sir? Is why isn't Johannesburg? Why is Johannesburg more popular for you to blow up compared to Cape Town? Is it because racism in here in Cape Town or what? Sorry? Is it racism? No, no, no. It has nothing to do with racism. It has everything to do with community. I feel as if, as a creative, as someone that is in this industry, whether it be film, fashion, entertainment, media, whatever it may be that you're trying to break out into, you need to be surrounded by people that actually see that vision, people that pour into it, invest into it, uplift it, empower it, speak life into it. In Cape Town, because Cape Town is so small, right which is actually crazy because it's actually bigger than china's but geographically but cape town is so small in the sense that everyone is very over competitive so when someone gets an opportunity to i don't know blow or be a little bit further than everyone else they hoard it mm. they don't necessarily want to bring everyone with them to the top mm. but in Johannesburg, it's like in order for that industry to actually build on top of each other it's like who's next what can you do okay that's amazing. I think you can also do this. Have you ever thought of this? People build on you in Johannesburg. There's opportunities mm. left, right, and center. Mm. And also, not to mention, cost of living is lower. Yeah. So it's like. Have you, you been can, to Johannesburg? Yeah, I did. And that's where you get these ideas. The ideas. And I was just like, just from speaking to people on the streets, I was like, no, man, this, this, is, this is where it's at. So what's stopping you from going now? That's a very good question. I mean, you have the, the, have the intellect, you have the knowledge, you have the experience. You can thrive right now if you wanted to. So what's stopping Honestly, you? Honestly, that is very true. Like I said, greatness moves in silence. It, when it's time, we're gonna make that move. Mm. Is it the resources that you need to like? The resources you? as well, but also just like knowing, like I said, you need to build a foundation from where you are from. Mm. Because in order for you to take it to the world, it's like, where's home, where are your roots? If you know where your roots are, then you're never gonna get lost in the world. Mm. So it's like even going to Johannesburg, from Johannesburg to if you wanna take your dream globally, it's like, where are you from? I'm Cape Tonian. And mm. Cape Tonians can vouch, yes, she's from Cape Town, she started here. Yeah. I mm. remember her, she was like Long Street, she used to go, she used to club hop, she used to do, like, that mm. is your humble beginnings. You can't mm. just make it to the top without a humble beginning. So what is the top looking like for you? What, what do you see doing once you reach a stage of... Oh, let's not talk. You said people are haters, they will jinx it. Ah, but just give us a little glimpse, you know. Do you want to, are you DJing? Honestly, I've thought of it. I'm not going to lie to you, but I feel as if the industry is so oversaturated right now that you can't just be a DJ. It needs to be like like a like a sub branch yeah skill set not even t it's a skill set yeah you know what i'm saying so for you to be like oh i'm just a dj like what else can you do everyone's a dj now mm -hmm. so i've thought about it i mean definitely i'll dabble in it here and there but i wouldn't make it like the main thing that i'm going after mm. so what else can people do once you reach this stop you want to be active as well honestly you can do everything mm. uh, talent management sorry talent management me personally yeah why not? Like I'm saying you can yeah, do you, anything. You got it. You got it. You, the way you're giving the previous guests some advice that can be applicable to whoever's coming next. You know, you see something and you can like apply what your experience are into the next person. And you like guide them. But then who's guiding me? Well, you can just take a cut from them. True. What is, what is you want? Do you want fame or money? I want purpose. Purpose. Yes. I want impact. Mm. I want to leave something that when I leave, it's like I made people feel something. Hmm. Greatest inspiration of that in South Africa is Rick Rick. He's left something so for you us. So you leave a legacy behind. Basically, yeah. You want to be Oprah Winfrey? No, <laughs> ah, we lost. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but not necessarily. Like, I just wanna, like, I need to. I wanna make people feel something. Mm. I don't really care for money because so you're, gonna, you're gonna be out here doing public speaking uh, speeches at schools and stuff. Or going to not necessarily schools, but I mean, like, if they do book me, then why not? Okay, oh, Rita, you got the energy out here. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, God, you're no. you're out here speaking your mind. You know, giving that energy that um, not a lot of people have. Now, like, you have that that spark. I can if I can put it in 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 a simpler terms. So. How are you going to bring that spark into fruition? Because you mentioned like it's a, as DJ is one of the routes that you can acting, you know, and I mentioned talent management, you know, but what is that you really gravitate towards, towards, you know, in the entertainment industry? That's a very good question. I'm still figuring that out. Mm. That's between me and God. Mm. And when it's time, mm. God will reveal that to me mm. and everything else we'll use as a bro product just to build onto that one purpose. Mm. Are you fighting battles? Like battles, like frustration, like, oh, when is my time coming? Like, I'm 20. I always tell myself that you're young, like, mm. breathe. You don't have to have it all figured out by now. Mm. When don't it's you, time, it'll happen. But don't you get tired, like, ah, gosh, I, I want to stop now. Or because of all the shit you probably like seen in the industry, like, ah, is this really where I want to be? No, I honestly, just be like, 
I don't know. I'm the kind of person that's like, if this is this gonna matter to me in the next five years when I'm where I wanna be or I'm once yeah. close to where I wanna be? Yeah. The answer is no. So I never let it like affect me or get mm -hmm. to me. Okay. Because I know there's a lot of shocks. You mentioned behind cameras, like a lot of shocks. A lot of people are. trying to tempt you to do things they that's are. ungodly. And I can tell that you're a godly woman. Thank God. So how do you make sure? I know you're gonna mention our prayer is the way to like navigate, mm -hmm. but when you're in a situation like that. How do you be quick on your feet to knowing that, hey, I'm like, you know, break my morals out here and my values? Give me a situation like a scenario. A situation where you're in a club and a big opportunity come your way by one of the managers. Say, listen, I can make you like the face of the club, but you have to do certain things that can go against what you believe in. In that son. Well, not manager of the club, but I mean, like, it's honestly, like I said, like, I would say, okay, for instance, if you were to be asking me advice, listen, Rita, I want to like get into the club scene because I have a certain talent, I have a certain endeavor that I want to build on. How can I navigate this environment and survive? Because it's, it's honestly, the club is surviving. It's yeah. a jungle. It's <laughs> everybody, you'll get child. If you do not have foresight, you're going to get child. I would say just know why it is that you're doing what you're doing. Why are you there? What is your reason? Because that reason is going to be what gets you through every single little I have an opportunity, I own a PR company, I can make you big, how much for a night? Like, it will be what makes you, it'll, you basically will stay grounded because of why you know where you're going and why you're here. Mm. If you don't know why you go, where you're going and why you're there, ha, huh, and I get lost in all of that. So someone that's just like, wants to be in the club scene for the hype of things and just being an influencer, they're gonna get lost because they don't have a form of direction like I want to do this because I what do you why influencing where do you want to take influencing the mm. club is supposed to be a side hustle onto your main hustle the moment it becomes mm. a main hustle then everything gets fucked mm. sorry my bad language everything is messed up and that's another problem that I also like I said I'm taking a break from it because it's like the environment first of all you know you're only just really there for like four hours where you're working or maybe like let's say six hours I don't know depending on what it is that you do but in those four six hours you see a lot your brain is working like hyperactively you are in this very energetic environment so much is happening so much like happens within those four hours um, and it's like it's so tiring it drains you it depletes you you sleep the entire day and then it's like oh my god at 6 p.m i need to get ready i have work again so you need to really just be like why am i doing this okay this is a side hustle it's not my main hustle because i see people like literally so much talented people lose their spark and like their life in that environment and i'm like what are you doing you're a model you can literally be doing runways in paris why aren't you not focusing on your modeling your the club scene itself is a byproduct it's like you're trying to use that as a clutch but don't be now i'm making so much money and that's another thing you make a lot of money quick money fast money that money will come back again next week so you're like i can chow it it's another thing as well i'm like if you are gonna go in and then you're like okay i want to make money use it as capital to maybe like i don't know get into content creating Make sure you really use it as capital. Don't tell yourself, okay, it's going to come back next week because now you are in that cycle mm. and it doesn't end unless, like I said, you're grounded. Then you'll be able to say, wait, let me take a step back and actually just ground myself. Yeah. Guys. It's messed up, guys. Sure. Rita, you have some knowledge out here to share. You're spitting balls out. I'm not going to lie. You, you are giving us an educational background to the club scene and, and overall general entertainment scene. And I'm like listening to you. You've been doing this for so long that you have seen not an really experience. Actually. For 20 years old, I'm going to remind people again, for 20 years old, you've been living here. Eh? Yeah. Is that uh, a good thing? I don't it's know. A, it's, I don't know. It's a, it's a good thing for me. It seems like you have more knowledge than me. So that's a good thing. I don't go to, I think it's wisdom. It's like it's experience. Wisdom. You, you, yeah, you got more experience and wisdom than me. I'm out here. Well, some people might be assuming that you're living your best life, and maybe I was assuming that. Guys, but social media is fake. And yeah, meanwhile, yeah, you're speaking like, ah, this girl is intelligent, and she knows what she's doing. Social media is so fake. Don't believe anything you see. Clearly, because now that you're listening to Rita's story, actually, she's literally giving you, the audience watching, a background to what her mission is. She's not here having fun. She's actually doing the necessary steps to make herself a success. There you go. With that note, Therita, Zulu, Miss Zulu, thank you for coming to the show. I really appreciate Hi. you sharing some so amazing cool. wisdom out here with us. And I'm sure people are like watching, like thinking, like, wow, is this the girl that I've been trolling with in the clubs? Yes, yeah, so we're busy peppering the drama, shaking nyash on top of tables. Yeah, yeah, but you don't do that. You're do, <laughs> doing business out here. Don't let this face fool you. She's working here. If she's talking to you, know that she's trying to get something out of you. Liar.
But I'll give you something in return as well, though. Yeah, you know? not only is it's a mutual transaction out here. She's exchange not gonna, of areas. She's what not giving. She's exchange of co what, what connection. She's exactly, networking. Exactly. She's networking out here. Exchange of energy. Exchange of love. So don't come here. If she's talking to you, no, it's business. Business professional. Or if you come into her, keep it professional, because you know you never know how you can level up with each other. Because this girl is smart and she's out here working. With that being said, I'm your host, Kevin Chisenzi. This is Rita Zulu, and we're signing up. Take care. Sip some, hey, you gon' get your dance on. Catch me, catch me, catch me, yeah. Drowning in ambition now. Wet. Turning all these tables now. Blip. Burning all these bridges down. Lit. Catch me, damn, damn, damn. Catch me, catch me.